Hey, welcome back. I'm Jaden Nerd. This is part four for Confessions of an Introvert. I'm talking about fashion. I'm talking about accessories. I'm talking about accessories that as an introvert, I was very comfortable with. And it's not Jordans and it's not Old Navy. So what could I possibly be talking about? Ironically, I'm talking about depression and anxiety. These were my accessories. These were the accessories I wore in school, junior high school, high school. So while everybody else had Jordans and everybody else had different designers and they were like up to date with fashion, they had the best of everything. They were dressing very well, they were popular, they were stylish. I was not, I was quiet. Um, I was reading books, I was playing video games. I was looking at some comics sometimes. Like it was just very, everything I did kept me out of the limelight. It kept the spotlight off of me. It kept me so that people wouldn't notice me. So I got very comfortable wearing a trench coat of depression and I had my scarf of anxiety. And together, those were my accessories. Those were the things that I wore. Those were things that no matter what I, where I was going, what I was doing, they went with everything because as an introvert, I was within myself. As an introvert, I was quiet. I didn't want to engage. I talked about a little bit in some of the other episodes about dating, so you can definitely check that out. And I talked about the work culture and how teamwork bleeps the dream up. And a lot of times as an introvert, I don't feel comfortable working with people. I don't feel comfortable being in groups. So a lot of times, even if it's in the working situation and work, you know, you get to know your coworkers, but you still don't feel comfortable with them. And there were many, many, many times in school, especially junior high and high, as I grew up and as I was getting older and understanding how the world worked and everything, I saw how people value the aesthetic and what you had on, like your clothes and your shoes and things, your accessories, your hat, your watch, your tattoo, all of that. Like these were things that were important back then. So for someone like myself, I equated the lack of these material things and I said well I'm empty I'm missing something what's wrong with me this is why I'm unpopular this is why I'm lame you know what I mean but as I got older I began to understand that there they were focused on accessories and I was focused on accessories as well except mine were more metaphorical mine were depression anxiety low self-esteem like things that I attributed to myself so, you know, I just want to, want to throw a question out there for you. When you were growing up, if you were an introvert, did you, did, you, did you keep a lot of depression and anxiety? Were they accessories to you in your life? Or if you knew somebody that y'all said he was quiet or she was quiet, they stayed to themselves. And now you understand that they were actually introverted. There was nothing wrong with them. Would it be fair to say that perhaps they were dealing with depression, they were dealing with anxiety, they were dealing with things, and that was their accessory? Ironically, even though I felt isolated and I felt alone, those accessories, the accessory of being depressed, the accessory of being anxious about being depressed, that, that was my company. That was what I chose to wear. So when people was wearing Jordans and they was coming to school feeling good about themselves, I didn't feel good, but I felt like I had something to occupy the internal war going on in my mind. So growing up was very difficult. It was tough. Now that I'm older and I realize the materialistic things, don't, they don't really matter. They do not matter in the grand scheme of things. Your sneaker collection, you know, however many jeans you have for you ladies, if y'all like red bottoms and them high heel shoes with the red paint on the bottom, whatever it is, um, it doesn't amount to anything in the grand scheme of anything that's really important, especially on the intellectual level. So I'm gonna wrap it up. I've been rambling long enough, but I just kind of wanted to talk about it, just share and just do a little something to give more insight um, into my life and into my background and, and, and how I'm able to come to grips now with being an introvert. And one of the things that I struggled with, along with dating and friends and work, um, I struggled with fashion. I struggled with my ability to fit in and, and be among the cool kids. And, and I wasn't. Now that I'm older and I understand what makes me me, I don't mind the introverted nature. It keeps me focused. It keeps me away from idiocy. It just keeps me away from things that I don't want to be bothered with. So I just want to pose this question to you all and I would love to get some feedback in the comments below. But how would you identify if someone is dealing with depression and anxiety if they're introverted? And do you think that we may wear that as an accessory, do we wear that? Do we use it as a crutch? Do we use that to keep people away so we can kind of maintain 
our introverted status. Let me know what you think. I'm Jaden Nerd. If you like the content, thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe. I would love to keep the conversation going. It's the best way to talk to me. It's the best way for me to talk to you. If you ever want to do a video reply, I've got a Facebook page. The link will be in the bottom. So please go to the Facebook page. Send me a post. Write something. Do a video reply. I am anxious to talk to each and every one of you. I'm Jaden Nerd, and I'll talk to y'all next time.